good morning everyone welcome back to the cabin um, yeah it's short pant weather again it's probably about 9 30 and it's already pretty brutal up here so uh, we're just trying to stay cool and get this roof done slowly um, and that's what it is slow. we'll probably break about lunch wait till about four or five in the afternoon and come back Well, hey everyone, I'm down here at the workshop waiting on Patrick to get down here. We've got three pieces of metal left to put up. We've got the ridge cap to put on and then some edging to put on the workshop and we'll have this done. But I'll tell you, it's been really difficult trying to get this done in almost triple digit temperatures and uh, at least 90% humidity or the high 80s. And with those two combined, it is difficult to breathe. I actually was using an inhaler. I don't have any trouble with my lungs, but this heat was hard to breathe. So uh, my daughter had an extra inhaler where kids maybe leave them at school or maybe never use them and then they get left behind. So I went ahead and used it. Uh, seemed like it did help a little bit, open up the bronchioles, but um, I'll tell you, it's, it was hard working in this weather. Anyway, let me go ahead and sh kind of show you what we've got done. And then over here we've got those three pieces I said to put on. We've got the ridge cap to put on. And then we've got one small piece right over here to put on the workshop area. Anyway, once we get that up, I'll probably come down here. We'll start this third section and I'll work underneath in inclement weather putting the siding on on this tractor portion. So as soon as it gets down here, we will get back up there and see if we can't get this knocked out.
Well, friends, I was sitting here taking a little bit of a break, and then I remembered it's time for another giveaway. So for the month of July, we had gave away uh, two East Wing hammers, and for the Outpost channel, Bespoke Fencing, I think I pronounced that right. Congratulations, you're the winner. And for the Review channel, Ted Breyer, you are the winner there for the East Wing Hammer. So congratulations to both of you. For the month of August, we're going to give away, my son bought me two of these. It is really cool. This is just like a carpenter's pencil. It's made by Pika. It's called a Big Dry. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and give two of these away for the month of August. You winners, be sure and contact us at SmokyMountainOutpost at gmail.com with your information on how we can get those hammers to you as soon as possible. So congratulations again. Let's get back to the video. Well friends, I got my son to the airport and back safely. He actually texted me a while ago and said that he was at home. I'll tell you what, that looks pretty darn good if you ask me. The only thing is, I've got a pretty good mess down there. And I've also got something that I'm going to have to address now because of having the metal on the roof. Uh, I'll take you down here and show you. Right here where this corner post is, I couldn't afford to move the building forward anymore because I wanted a circle drive. So now that I've got that metal on there and the water flows very fast and very freely, um, it could create an issue here until I get guttering up. So what I've got is a big tarp that I'm actually going to lay around the post and down the bank so when the water comes off it'll hit the tarp and just run on down and it won't do any erosion right here. I've got a mess that I'm going to have to clean up from putting all that metal on there. but. Um, 
I think that that will suffice until, like I say, until I get the guttering up. But I've also got another problem I'll take you up here and show you that I've got to address as well before I start that third section. What I've got behind me here is a topsoil pile over there where you see all those weeds growing. I've got lots of sawdust that I've been bringing down from the sawmill that's been decomposing. And then behind me right here is a large mound of wood ash that where I take it out of the fireplace and bring it out here and put it. So all of that is going to get mixed together uh, to do some landscaping up here. I pretty much got uh, the left side of the cabin uh, if you're looking forward this way. Um, I pretty much got it the way I want it um, and I have grass growing but on the other side of the cabin right here in this area where I used to park my truck is where I'm going to do the landscaping and put that soil that I just showed you so in order for the water to run when it comes off of the bank in that direction, I'm going to have to move the bottom of the bank back just a little bit and remove the woodshed, but that was planned anyway, so that I can actually grade that out, hopefully, and get that water to drain off in that direction. So I need to get uh, the 574 up here, see if we can use the grapple to pull those posts out. We'll load everything up that's on the ground, remove all that wood, see if we can get rid of that structure there so that we can actually do this the problem has been I can't I've made several calls but I can't get anybody to come up here and actually do this so I'm going to try my hand at doing it myself
Well, I cooked me up just a little bit of sausage and eggs. I tell you what, I'm eating tomatoes with everything because I've got to get rid of them. We've canned them, uh, we've ate them, the vines are still hanging full, so he actually goes good with uh, breakfast. Let's see what it tastes like here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's hard to beat. It's hard to beat breakfast cooked over the fire. Well, I think that I've got it to where it will drain now. Uh, standing down there at the other end and looking this direction, it seems like it's going uphill. Standing here, it kind of looks like it's level. But I think that I've got it sloped. Uh, it's supposed to rain for like the next seven days, at least 50% or more. So we'll see if I have any areas that are standing in water. I may have to work with those. But then I'll bring all that topsoil up here, bank it up against the house, get it spread out. We'll get some grass planted in here. Well, I believe I just about got this knocked down now enough that I can lay that tarp out here. Well, if you were wondering what was in this dirt pile right here, it was this big stump, this tree that I had to cut. It was kind of leaning in this direction when I built the carport. Um, it wasn't anything that I could dig out because I don't really have the equipment to do that, so I basically had to work around it. I think what I'm going to do, though, is build kind of like a retaining wall just around this thing and maybe plant some flowers in here or something. And I may be thinking about putting a little addition right here to be able to park the four-wheeler, either that or out here. If you like watching that dirt work, click up here in the top right hand corner of when I clear the property to build that outdoor kitchen. Friends, we thank you for watching. We really do appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.